have you like Teddy Bear and Ava? <gasps> I forgot to hit play. So welcome back again, guys, <laughs> to our channel. Those of you who don't know me, my name is Samantha, and this is... Hayden. Hayden. And tonight, we are going to be getting the whelping boxes set up in the girls' kennels as they are expecting puppies in about a week. So join us tonight as we set up whelping boxes for the first time. to clean up so we'll be back okay mm -hmm. we got it cleaned up and we're gonna work on the whooping box the dog's bed Come on. Whoa. into their kennels. I told her that it wouldn't fit and she's not listening to me and she's trying to fit it in there because she's like, oh, they're pregnant and they need a soft area to sleep. Just let them sleep in the whelping box. So don't get advice from my mom. Hmm. Okay, I want you guys to comment down below what would you do? Would you rather have your pregnant with big belly Danes sleep on this nice padded orthopedic bed or in the whelping box on the hard concrete? Comment down below and help us uh, settle this argument. <laughs> We got them all done, see? Here's Benelli's, and here is Kimber's. Phew. Hey guys, good morning. So this is kind of gonna be like a compilation video of different things that we've been doing to prepare for the puppies. But I wanted to show you what um, we're feeding the mama dogs. Um, we started them on a fembendazole uh, protocol, which is like a dewormer. So they're getting that for five days. So I gave them some dog food. I um, put their powdered fembendazole medicine in it. I'll show you, it looks like this. The uh, brand name is Panicker. So I sprinkled that in and then I put some raw meat and then also some goat's milk. So that's what they'll be getting this morning. Oh, and then I forgot one thing. Um, we've been getting that, giving them a prenatal too. So um, I'll give that to them as I give them their food this morning. In your bed. Yes. Yeah, good girl. Make her sit, sit before you give it to her. Good, and give her her, give her her, give it to her. So Kimber here. Kimber here. you give it to her? Yeah. She eat it. So um, one thing that I'm gonna do right now is set up, um, I'm just gonna use this uh, flat sheet to kind of separate the kennels so that um, when, the when the girls start delivering their puppies that they have some privacy. So I'm gonna set that up now. I 
got interrupted when I was hanging up the uh, dividers in between the kennels. So I ran to Walmart because I ran out of them. So I'm going to finish hanging those up. I think this is going to be the last little bit of this video. Um, we got all of the um, curtains up around there just to give the girls some privacy. We think Kimber might be in the first stages of labor, so we're keeping a close eye on her. And then here's Benelli's. I do have to hang one right there, but nice little den-like feel. So today we are going to um, put together the digital pet scale so that we can weigh the puppies. And then also we got an air purifier to hopefully keep the smell and stuff down. So Hayden's just gonna hang out with Kimber in here for a few minutes and keep an eye on her while I finish those two things and then we'll wrap up this video. So we got the air purifier set up over here and then I put the puppy scale on our rack of um, supplies here. So I think we're all set and ready for puppies. Kimber, I really think is in her first stage of labor. She um, has just been relaxing and basically laying around and chilling. So I'm gonna take her temperature to see where it's at. All right, guys, we checked Kimber's temperature. It dropped down to 99.1. Usually they'll have a temperature drop pretty close to labor. So we took that as a good sign. So we're gonna wrap up this video and then hopefully the next one will be of our whelping of the puppies. So if you wanna to continue to follow us along on this journey, hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Until next time, we'll see ya, bye.